Before we start working with the manipulatives, I want to discuss a few basic ideas that are underlying principles for Morton Samaya. I want you to take a moment and think about thinking. What does that involve? It involves imagining. It involves visualizing. Take some time and look up the definition of thinking. One definition I found was visualizing possibilities, visualizing, imagining. What do we need to be able to do that? We need experience and we need to have seen things, right? Mornson math is so visual and it provides children with lots of experiences in math. Another important thing to think about is how do children learn language? Well, they're born, they come into the world, and people are talking all around them. They are in a language-rich environment. They hear words, they try to say those words. And if they don't say it right, what do we do as adults do? We say it correctly for them. And how do they learn to speak in sentences? Do we teach them grammar before they're five years old? No. What we do is we just talk normally, and they pick up sentence structure. Before they know what a noun or a verb is, they're using them. Why? How do they do that? All children around the world are born with a natural problem-solving ability. And it's with this problem-solving ability that they pick up patterns in languages whether it's English or Spanish or French or Japanese, they pick up those patterns. And that's why it makes it so easy for children to learn languages at an early age. They hear things and then they have a sense of what is right, what sounds right. But they have that natural ability to discover those patterns from being in a language-rich environment. We want mathematics to be the same way. We want to give them the tools and to make it intellectually exciting for them so that they can discover the beauty and the patterns of mathematics. Now you have all these materials in front of you. Let's talk about how you're going to start with children of different ages. With four to seven year olds, you will probably start them out working in the smiley face books, then doing some problems in algebra and addition facts mastery, and saving the multiplication facts mastery until later. With eight to 10 year olds, you have a choice. You can start them in algebra or smiley face or addition or multiplication facts mastery because they've already been exposed to a lot of mathematics. The children 11 years old and up you may want to start them out in the algebra or multiplication facts mastery. Then go back and work with a smiley face because algebra is just generalized arithmetic. And once they've gotten this boost by working in algebra and they've done a few books, then it's going to be fun for them to see the specific case of how they can use these same materials to make arithmetic fun. We are going to assume in this video that children already know how to count. How many? One. How many do I have in my hand this time? One again. And this time, it's also one. Now, pick up this bar. How many do you have in your hand? It's one. And here, if a young child is looking at this from a distance, what are they automatically going to say? One. And they may not even be looking at it from a distance. But they're all one. There is something different. They're different kinds. And they have different names. Just as this has a name that's different from this. Well, let's name these. This is a unit, this is a 10, this is a 100. Now, we have just started what we call the three period lesson. 
The first part, this is, is where we identify it for the child. You know, you've done the three-peer lesson before. When you taught your children parts of the body, certainly you identified it for them first. And what was the next thing that you did? The next thing was you had them point to the parts of the body, right? That's our show me phase. So we would say, with these in front of the child, hold up a 10. Point two, a unit. Hold 100 by your ear. You see, there are all sorts of crazy fun things that we can do that make the three-peer lesson a little more interesting and exciting. But you know, when children are first learning things, it's exciting in itself. In a written format, this is, is where we have a picture and a label. The show me is where they might match an item to a name or pick it out, a multiple choice type setting. The smiley face books are really done in a show me format. And the last part is what is this? This is where the child has heard the name in the this is and the show me parts of the lesson. Now the child has had an opportunity to internalize that and now the child is asked to give the name. What is this? Hundred. What is this? Unit. What is this? Ten. If the child has any trouble at any part, what are you going to do? You just go back to the part before it. So if when you said, show me 10, the child pointed to this, you would say, this is a unit, this is 10, this is 100. Real simple, very easy. The same thing that they've been used to you're doing when they're learning. They're not dumb because they couldn't do that. They just hadn't had enough chance to hear those words and have them become familiar to them.